Hey guys, this is Agent Mindstorm, and welcome back to another video in which I'm going to show you something cool. In this video, I'm going to show you a volcano. A working volcano, of course. Not just this, which I'll show you what this is. It's just, as you can see, this small little obsidian thing. But there is, interestingly enough, a lever. And do you... No, think you know what the lever does? I think you might. So let's show you. It makes the volcano work. And this video is going to show you a tutorial on how you can build this. So, cut to the building. Okay, I'm back to show you how to build this. So you're gonna need about 30 redstone, eight redstone torches, a lever, six dispensers, and however much lava you want to be in your volcano. So first I'm gonna start by building the base of this obsidian. And I'm gonna make a reasonably small volcano. It's not like you need a big volcano, but you need to make sure that at the top there is at least a six by two hole. And this is going to be like the smallest volcano ever, but I'm going to make sure that there is a hole still. And you're probably, if you're building this on super flat, you might want a bit of a bigger hole. Well, you can actually make the hole as big as you want, as long as it's at least uh, 6x2. You can't have 2x4 or anything, you need to make it 6x2. I mean, 6x2, 3x2, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So, here we go. That took exactly a stack of obsidian. I wasn't even planning that. And then what you're going to want to do is actually dig out this. There's a reason for digging this out. Don't you worry. I'm not just randomly digging it out. And you're going to want to place redstone on top of here. And then some torches here. And then do the same thing for the other side. So that should be... Um, almost all of your torches and a little bit of your redstone gone right there and if you're wondering how i mine the obsidian so fast i have a very good pickaxe it's a super enchanted one and then once you do this part yeah i didn't mention you also have to put a torch in the middle of this and this so like it's powering on these rows, and these will stay off. And then you will need just to have it so that redstone goes straight to your both of your torches, and it has to be facing into the block. So I'm just going to do that really quickly. Then you'll... Uh, the, now this inside area doesn't really matter. You can fill it in if you want to. You probably should. And then you're going to want to find your redstone trail on the other side of the volcano. Okay, there's my redstone trail. So then you want to make it go down one, like this. And then, pretty much, you just want to cover that up with dirt. And then where you know there was redstone, you put the lever. So when you pull this, the torches should turn on. If they turned on, you're doing it right. And if, then if you flip it again, they should turn off. So this is probably the most important part, so you can turn your volcano on and off. Then, see, these torches, normally they'd burn out, but because there's three in a row, for some reason the game glitches and they, it never burns out. See, so now all of the dispensers are going to infinitely fire until I turn this. And now, they are going to stay on permanently. Then you just want to hide your redstone like this and make sure that there's still the six by two area three by two area why do i keep saying six by two like this and then you just want to fill this area up with lava so i'm gonna grab all my lava buckets and of course you can make the lever as far away as you want but for this example i'm making it right next to the volcano and I'm just gonna fill this up, so now that the volcano is nice and filled up, I can simply break this block, and I can make the lava fl Wait, no, I don't want to break- Don't break a block that goes straight to your lever, that's a bad idea. Oop. And 
just a second. I'm gonna, uh, oh, great. I just messed this up. Sorry. Oh, great. Yeah, make sure that this doesn't happen to you. Here's an example of what happens if you're not careful. Make sure that this doesn't happen. And Okay, so the thing is stopped on that side. So you can just dig your paths where they won't hit a lever or redstone like that. So then you can have your nice little lava fall going down. And this is pretty much it. Now you're just going to fill your dispensers with arrows and you'll have your nice volcano. So, I'm gonna fill those, and then I'm gonna come back to show you how it works. Okay, I'm back. I filled up the dispensers. See, you're probably gonna want to fill them full like this. I don't recommend this for survival. It's very impractical unless you have a super skeleton farm. And here we go. This thing does run out of arrows quite fast, just to warn you. And you might want to turn your sound down, too, because it's going to be quite loud. But, yeah. Thanks for watching. Oh, just a second. Thanks for watching, and I will see you later.